Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market session. Uh, friends of the weekend, uh, most of the global markets were stable. Uh, US was slightly up, and European markets were down. So no real major action there. Uh, but in terms of our own domestic market, uh, there are three important uh, triggers or events which are which everyone is going to be focusing on. First, of course, is the major announcement from the uh, finance minister and RBI on uh, improving the market sentiment because we all know that people have been talking about policy inaction and no real uh, action by the government to revive the investor confidence and the investment cycle. So market will be keenly watching out for what really comes out of this because even in the past we have seen that few announcements come about but uh, there is no follow up or there is no real uh, uh, seriousness on the part of the government to follow it up through a proper implementation. So if something really important comes about and as expectations are low, market might react positively to that. Also remember friends, the rupee had uh, gone down to as low as about 57.30 and it closed at about 57.12. So everyone is worried about what's happening there despite the fact that the crude oil price uh, has come down to almost 90 from about 115 and also the gold import uh, has actually come down by 25%. So uh, we will have to watch out and see what really comes out of this uh, FM and RBI announcement today on the rupee front. Another important thing to watch out for would be the EU summit which is starting from Thursday. Uh, in the past we have seen these kind of meetings uh, you know, uh, taking place but nothing major has really come out except for some amount of liquidity infusion. So uh, we will have to watch out for that and the third important event of course would be the expiry which is uh, going to take place on Thursday. Remember friends. This uh, month was extremely uh, packed with events, people have hedged their positions and overall the open interest in the market is light. So we'll just uh, try and uh, take you through what can one really expect on that front. Uh, on that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through the f and observations and the possible action that we can have on that front. Hi Shaival, good Hi. morning. Good morning. Uh, overall our markets have been resilient and uh, 5100 also is proving to be an important uh, support zone. Uh, but what is your overall take on the market going ahead? Uh, see, from past couple of trading session, we have been seeing that uh, the rupee dollar was pretty stable. But suddenly in the Friday's trade, it has, uh, the rupee has depreciated to all-time low of 57.30. That was one of the major reasons because of which we have seen some sell-off in the Friday session. The other reason was that I guess the mood is downgrading the international bank which further weakened the sentiments and because of which some short positions were built up in uh, Friday session and that was the reason behind the sell off in the market. Now what we have seen is that the implied volatility has been uh, from past couple of trading sessions was continuously decreasing but in Friday's trade it has uh, increased marginally say it almost remains flat so that does not matter but what we feel is that the bias for the market is still positive and in spite of uh, implied volatility increasing. Now, the call of 5000 call and put option has seen a good activity once we have entered into a expiry week. So what we feel is that 5000 would act as a good support for the market and the weekly VWAP is now uh, ranging at 5140. So what we have done is we have kept lower range at 5000 and the higher range which is the resistance which market is not able to take off is 5200. So what we feel is that if before any breakout on the upper side or on the lower side, the market would consolidate in a broad range of 5,000, 5,200. Okay, and any stock specific strategies that we can have in the current scenario? See, we have identified three stocks from the intraday perspective on derivative basis. The first one is Orvinda Pharma, which is looking good with support of 107. Bank India is looking good with support of 338 rupees and Bharti Airtel is looking good with support of 306 rupees. Also, I'd like to mention that if market gives a breakout on the higher side as we have been expecting positives from the RBI and uh, finance ministry. So what one can do is one can bet on the banking stocks which are going showing a good strength uh, in banking stock. One can I at Yes Bank, Axis Bank, ICICI Bank. Whereas in metal sector, Tata Steel is looking very good which one can I have to play on. Right, Shaival, thanks a lot for that update. Thank you. Friends, in terms of important news today, uh, we have uh, Coal India news uh, that uh, the PMO uh, has said that, you know, they will accept 65% as a lower trigger for the FSA as against 80% stipulated earlier. Uh, also, uh, Coal India has increased the price of known cooking coal by about 10 to 15%. Both the news are positive for Coal India, so you might expect some positive reaction 
in the morning session but for some of the power companies like for example Tata Power or Adani Power or Reliance Infra and some of the other ones this could be a bit of a negative news also friends there are reports that the CCI uh, may come out with another order against cement companies for a complaint filed uh, in 2006 uh, we all know that uh, the CCI has already levied a penalty of 6300 crore on the top 11 or 12 cement companies so there is a possibility of another order which could be a bit negative for the cement companies uh, on Suzlon we have a news that uh, they may sell a stake in the Chinese company and raise about 60 million dollars so a bit of a positive news for uh, Suzlon uh, there are reports that LIC will increase the stake in Kane uh, India and uh, this could have some positive rub off on the Kane energy stock on HCC front uh, there are reports that uh, the uh, lenders or the financial institutions which have put in money have said that if the promoters increase the stake that they are ready to pumping more money so this is definitely a bit of a positive for HCC also friends since uh, we have talked about uh, the announcements uh, on the uh, overall reforms and uh, reviving the market sentiment front uh, some of the stocks like pantaloon retail could be in focus uh, because you know market is expecting some positive uh, news on that front so pantaloon retail would be another stock to watch out for uh, for SR oil uh, there are negative news that the Gujarat High Court has disqualified their case on the uh, excise front uh, so that would be a bit of a negative for that and for uh, SKS microfinance the Andhra Pradesh High Court has suspended the DRDA's order against them so it's a positive news for SKS microfinance so that stock could have some positive uh, rub off in the morning friends in terms of flows no major action on Friday FIs were sellers to the tune of 174 crore and DIIs were sellers to the tune of only about 1 crore so no major action on the FI flows front but overall we will have to wait and see how uh, this entire announcement part comes about and remember as we have discussed that 5100 and 5050 are important support zones so if there is a positive uh, announcement then we might see some kind of a positive uh, move in the market to the tune of about 5180, 5200 and if that is cross then we have a good chance of really moving above about 5250 or 5300 levels also so one could try to play this entire thing through options uh, that's it from all of us friends have a nice trading session see you tomorrow at the same time